Hey there creators, are you tired of complicated, feature-packed video editors that make your head spin? If you're looking for a super simple way to bring your video ideas to life without breaking the bank or your brain, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into Minitool Movie Maker, a budget-friendly, beginner-focused video editor that promises ease of use and creative flair. But is it worth your time? Stick around and we'll find out together. Let's kick things off with the basics. Minitool Movie Maker is designed for people who want to edit videos without getting overwhelmed by endless features. It offers a clean, straightforward interface that helps you combine clips, add transitions, and overlay text and effects with minimal effort. Sounds perfect for beginners, right? Well, there's more to the story. Now, here's a fun fact that might surprise you. Minitool Movie Maker is not completely free. Yes, you heard that right. You can use all the editing tools and export your videos without a watermark for the first three exports. After that, videos longer than two minutes require a paid plan. The best value? A $35.99 annual subscription. Compare that to... PowerDirector at $74.99 per year or Premiere Elements for a one-time fee of $99.99 and you've got a budget-friendly choice here. Got an old PC lying around? Minitool Movie Maker runs on Windows 7, 8.1, 10, and 11. But heads up, you'll want at least 16 gigabytes of RAM and a solid graphics processor for smooth sailing. And sorry, Mac users, this one's Windows only. Performance-wise, rendering speed is decent, but far from lightning fast. Think of it as a solid workhorse, not a speed demon. First impressions matter. Minitool greets you with a bright red new project button and templates, perfect for making quick travel vlogs or heartwarming family clips. However, I ran into a hiccup when previewing a template. It just didn't play. A glitch? Maybe. But once you upload your clips, the templates guide you through the process with preset placeholders. Simple and straightforward. No tinkering required. That's a win for anyone who'd rather skip the nitty-gritty of custom editing. Now, let's get into the editing interface. It's clean, it's simple, and... It's missing some key tools. There's no chroma key for green screen effects, no motion tracking, and no picture in picture. But what it does have is intuitive trimming. Drag the edges to shorten clips or split them with a click. Clips snap together automatically, so no awkward gaps to worry about. Transitions? You get plenty, from morph to butterfly wave scrawler. Try saying that three times fast. Oddly, the classic crossfade is missing, but there are alternatives like Fade Grayscale and Dissolve. It's a mixed bag, but for basic storytelling, it gets the job done. The effects and filters bring some fun. You've got sparkle, fire particles, and retro VCR vibes. Speed up, slow down, or even reverse your video with just a click. The girls with their nails done now. Text options are a highlight. Beautiful animated titles and easy on-screen editing make it a breeze to add captions or credits. But filters are one at a time only and no slider to adjust intensity. Want custom LUTs? Sorry, you're stuck with the built-in ones. Audio controls are basic but functional. Fades and volume adjustments are your only tools, but there's a decent stock of background music and sound effects, including those essential like and subscribe buttons for your YouTube videos. When your masterpiece is ready, Minitool lets you export in eight formats, including WebM and MKV. There's a handy bitrate setting for tweaking quality, but overall rendering speeds are just okay. So what's the verdict? Minitool Movie Maker, it's a solid choice if simplicity is your top priority. It's perfect for beginners and casual creators who just want to piece together a fun video without feeling overwhelmed. But if you're dreaming of pro-level effects like motion tracking or chroma keying, you might want to invest in something like PowerDirector or Premiere Elements. 
And that wraps up our review. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech and software reviews, and let me know in the comments, what's your go-to video editing software? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.